Welcome back everyone, Andrew Moore here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a unique Airbnb property built completely out of shipping containers. The property is called The Box Top, and Levy Kelly is the one that is handling the tour today. So if you enjoy this video, make sure to jump over and check out his channel as well for more property tours like this. <laughs> What is up guys, today we're at the Box Hop. It's an Airbnb located in Hocking Hills, really close to Old Man's Cave. It's about an hour-ish from Chillicothe. Guys, this place is beautiful. This place is packed out for the rest of the year. Okay, although the property isn't huge, I love the fact that it's in the middle of the woods. Like when you're wanting to just get away and take a break and maybe hang out with your partner, what a perfect spot to just relax, chill out. And then you've got all these amazing outdoor areas like the rooftop that we can see there, then there's the spa down below. I'm already really liking this property. There's only like a couple nights available. It's a three shipping container unit home and it's very, very beautiful, very well done. And we're gonna give you a tour of that today. Guys, this place is huge. As soon as you walk in, you're greeted to the dining area and the living area, the kitchen is way in the I love that they've made this property so rustic. You've got the actual rust on the roof support, which just looks amazing and like pops with the colors. And then you've got the hanging door over there on the left on the rollers combination of multiple surfaces with different colors, all adding to that rustic vibe. I really, really like it. Back, but in the dining and living room area, the natural light is amazing. The natural lighting mainly comes from these sliding doors that take up mainly the entire wall, and it lights up the living and dining room area. And the dining See, the table works so nicely in conjunction with the couch just off to the side of it. Although there's a few different surfaces, they're all working really, really nicely together, and you've got those earthy tones but then you've kind of got vibrant colors popping in it it looks really really good An area for reading or for whatever you want to do if you want to drink your coffee in the morning whatever you want and on the other side is a spiral staircase that has plenty of room for me to walk up with comfort with ease and that leads you to the second floor which is the third container what a great use of space this is a really really tiny property but whoever the owner is, they know perfectly what size furniture to use in the space and they've just done it really, really well. As you can see in the kitchen, I'm standing right here. There's plenty of space if you want to have like three or four people if you're just all trying to do something, get your drinks, get your food, do whatever. Okay, so we've got an orange fridge which just ties perfectly in with the rusty surfaces throughout the property. Then you've got that bench top which is a very unique color. Straight away, I feel like this property has been done in such a way that it's almost going to be a little bit timeless. Like I think if you pop back in 10 years, some things like the fridge, for example, because it's sort of, it's already dated and it looks modern and cool and hip, I think it still will look that way in a couple of years time, which is great. And that's what you want because you don't want to be renovating the property all the time. The kitchen also has a lot of natural lighting from this window and from this door. Also, this kitchen has a pretty awesome vibe to it. You can see with the refrigerator. This is a pretty awesome looking refrigerator. It has a lot of accent colors to it and it just really fits along with everything else in this kitchen. It has a really nice feel to it. Also on the first floor, right next to the front door, you're greeted with the first bedroom. This bedroom is very aesthetically pleasing. It has great natural light. They fit those windows really, really cleverly into the room because you want a lot of natural light coming in, but often when people add too many windows on every single corner of the house, all of a sudden all these rooms become unusable because there's so many windows everywhere and you can't put a bed anywhere, you can't put furniture anywhere. Whereas because they've got the windows right at the top of the ceiling, it just works really, really well and you still get that natural light coming in. The full bath in this bathroom is 100% up to date and very aesthetically pleasing. As you can just see for yourself, as a full bathtub with a shower with nice tiling located all around it. It even has a window in here that lets in some additional lighting. But everything in this bathroom is just perfect. Now that we're on the second level, the other two bedrooms and other bathroom are up here. The two bedrooms are on each side of the container. As soon as you walk into either one, you can- That is an amazing feature window. There's no blinds, but I don't think it really matters because Obviously, this is just so removed that you know, you've got your privacy anyway with all the trees surrounding. I would be comfortable. And I think that adding a blind would almost detract from that. The bedroom is beautifully decorated. The one bedroom has this neon light on the wall. This is super sick and super modern looking. I love it so much. Great for photos or whatever you want to do. Now, when you first walk up the stairs, you're greeted to this seating area with this huge window. But 
But on the other side of the wall is this huge garage door that opens right into the rooftop patio. What a cool way to add an exterior door. Just to, they have perfectly put that in without taking up any extra space. And they were so limited for space to begin with that that's just such a clever way to do it. So I walked out to this rooftop area. As you can see, the garage door is open back there. Plenty of space. Now let's talk about the front porch and that area a little bit. The front porch is another seating area. The I want to stay in this, this place. place, and it has a nice, beautiful seating area when you first walk up to it. And as you walk back, you might see a little something extending out. Well, that is an outdoor hot tub greeted with this little walkway with these beautiful lights around it for a great experience, and either in the winter or the summer. So that's the tour of the box hop. What do you guys think? What was your favorite part? You might hear some music playing. That's coming from the hot tub, actually. Anyways, I love this place so much i can't wait to stay here sometime myself so yeah thanks for watching let us know what you think as i said at the start of the video that was levy kelly and uh, make sure to check out his channel if you enjoy and want to see more content like he's doing there he's doing a fantastic job if you enjoyed this and you want to see more property reviews of other youtubers property videos then by all means consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys on the next video.